said earlier, I, at least for, speaking for myself, I, I, I want to move forward, not backward, on electronic medical records. And, the, and the, uh, so there's no, no doubt in my mind that that's where we're, we're headed. Um, Dr. Conway, um, it, it, I'm correct, isn't it, that, there, that the, the merit-based payment system or the moving for, to value, paying doctors for value is a top priority of the administration? Yes, implement. I, I, okay. I gather from Secretary Burwell that uh, she's bound and determined to get that done in the next year. Am I correct about that? Yes, sir. Implementing the macro legislation yeah. and the merit-based incentive program and alternative payment models is a right. extremely high priority. And it has broad support um, in, uh, in, in, in the Congress. You ask, you begin the process of making regulations on that this week. Is that correct? Uh, we were released a request for information right. to get public input and engagement on the rulemaking process. And when do you expect to have those regulations completed? Uh, we are aiming to put out those regulations next year, uh, most likely in the late spring time frame. Next spring. Um, it, it, isn't it true that 25% uh, of the uh, in, incentive payment or the penalty of, uh, for, for doctors uh, uh, under your new payment system would depend upon how well they complied with meaningful use? Yes, the good news is that Congress, in passing the statute for MACRA, enabled significantly more flexibility uh, in the ER, EHR incentive portion or meaningful use. Um, so in the RFI, we ask questions around uh, the issue that the so-called all or none phenomenon from providers in terms of meaningful use. Uh, we believe the MACRA statute provides us more flexibility for that 25 percent in terms of how we consider uh, successful use of electronic health records, and we want to thank Congress for that. But, but the most important thing would be the better the, the meaning, the, the better the electronic record system is, and the easier it is for doctors to comply with it, the more effective your a new value-based system will be, right? So we are committed in the value-based system for electronic health records. No, but is it right or wrong? Uh, yes, sir. We are committed in the electronic health record systems. Well, I think a yes or would be a adequate. And well, what, I, what I'm getting at, why then wouldn't you want to develop the final rules for the electronic health care record system at the same time you're developing your rules for your value-based system? Why would you go ahead with your final stage of, 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 of stage three and then have to do what you did with stage two, which is then say, okay, this is our final rule, but it's not very good, so we're gonna spend all next two or three years changing it. Why don't you go ahead and do two, which you're ready to do, and then you've got three out there and work with doctors and hospitals and vendors and make your changes before you make it final. So we are committed to work with Congress, doctors, and other providers to improve the program over time. Uh, we're committed to work with you both on legislative and administrative That's options. That's not an answer. That. That's not an answer. I mean, why, why? let me ask you, Dr. DeSalvo, uh, if, if uh, Procter & Gamble were going to introduce a new soap or a new product, it surely wouldn't introduce it in the whole country and test it out. It, goes, it, it, it would make sure it was right. If McDonald's was introducing a new a sauce or gravy or a hamburger, it would test it out. And most of business would do things that way. And as a result, we have in our private sector things like um, ATMs that actually work uh, all over the world. We have a, an amazing system for, uh, for uh, making airline reservations. That's the kind of system we'd like to have for our electronic health care records. Why wouldn't it be a good idea to take my music teacher's advice and uh, play a little slower than you can play it? and go ahead and do stage two now. Only 12% of doctors com can, can comply with stage two the way it is now, only 40% of hospitals. Let them do that uh, work, and then say, we're gonna do stage three in a year, count on it, but between now and then, we're gonna work with you on all these issues. How can we reduce physician documentation? What other things can we do to encourage interoperability? Get buy-in and broad support in the Congress for it, and then have a big success in a year, rather than spend the whole year uh, defending a rushed up program. Senator Reed. Senator, as, my, as, as Dr. Conway shared, we, we do wanna get this right, and uh, that means that we've taken a lot of time to listen and receive feedback for ONC's rule, the certification rule. 
An example of, of where we did a course correction is, for example, last summer, we realized that some of the approaches to technology we were taking needed to be fixed so that interoperability would be better. And so we have been willing to make changes where it was necessary along the way. Similarly, with respect to flexibility, some year and a half ago, we worked with CMS on, on making adjustments so that when doc, if docs weren't ready to upgrade that to a new product, if they needed more time to get used to their product to make it work better on the front lines, that flexibility rule has given them that additional time. So I think our, our track record reflects that we are willing to be to be to work with the private sector. We do understand firsthand what that's like to be in the clinical environment and working with our electronic health records. Our certification rule as proposed itself has some of the some of the protections and advancements that I, I, I believe are shared interest with this committee. So better security, more access to data for consumers through these APIs, uh, better opportunities to address blocking and opportunities to advance the marketplace so that, that docs and others know what they're buying to make more transparency. So the proposals in our in our certification rule reflect the input and the guidance that we received through not just uh, abstract conversation, but meaningful day-long conversations with docs and others to see how we could better serve them through this program. Thank you. Senator Murray.